Moments ago, I spoke with Ahmaud Arbery's aunt, who says that the turning point of the investigation into the death of her nephew was when the video showing his last moments of his life was released. It was made by one of the men convicted today, and as crazy as it sounds, the only reason we even know about this video is because another one of the men convicted today, Greg McMichael, released it. An attorney who helped him do it, Alan Tucker, said that McMichaels believed the video would clear them in the minds of the public from any wrongdoing. Back with us, Bakari Sellers and Sarah Azari. Sarah, let me just start with you. This video, without the video, do you think the verdict would have ever been reached? No, John, this video, I mean, first of all, video evidence is the best evidence, right? And just imagine if uh, without this, um, this jury believed Travis McMichael's testa lying about the struggle with the gun, about the citizen's arrest. I mean, this verdict would be completely different. And uh, and I think that's why it gave me some comfort earlier in the day when the when the jurors came out and asked to watch the video, um, because that that just told the whole story. And and to your point, the level of privilege of these three murderers who believed they were exonerated by this video. I mean, this video was anything but exculpatory, right? And, and, and they walked around for months um, exercising their freedom and their liberty. It's unbelievable to me that, you know, I think it's just karma that they thought this was exculpatory, where it's really incriminating. And the whole case turned on this video. There yeah. would have been no trial and no justice. Well, that's what I said. It's actually...